originally my training was as a, as a psychotherapist, so clearly the matter of, of, of trauma, uh, you know, of psychological stress, uh, you know, is something that I have been looking at for now for some four decades. For, for us as an organization, bringing together all you pioneers, you guys that really have done the work and that understand and, and can show how the brain is affected by early developmental trauma and making that making the tools available for, for every man, woman and child, as I said to you earlier, to have access to awareness that they need to be able to then go and do something about it. Well, essentially what we're looking at in trauma, again, the, the major stress regulating networks, and trauma is again about the dysregulation of the stress response and about um, intense negative emotions uh, fear, terror, etc. Uh, so essentially my work for years has been uh, focused on regulation. And just as the outcome of the early attachment is the communication of emotions, positive and negative, and then the interactive regulation of, the, of emotions through a relationship with another human being, well, I'm now seeing that the key to the work with trauma is not so much insight as it is the ability uh, to be able to communicate these emotional states, to feel them in the body, to communicate these to another human being, and then for them to be regulated. Because essentially the origins of trauma are in relationships, and therefore um, the outcome of, of working with the trauma, again, has to be a relational outcome. And then the other part of that always accompanies trauma are the issues of safety and trust, uh, you know, to be able to understand, to regulate. And, and of course, safety and trust are central to forming emotional relationships and emotional bonds. So again, uh, these are a central part of, of, the, of, of the therapies.